Hi, this is Mark or Circle of the Dark Mother. If you like our content, please subscribe and click like. Today, I want to talk about Lilith and the Whore of Babylon. So the Whore of Babylon. So although Lilith is not directly mentioned in the Christian New Testament, many believe that the Whore of Babylon mentioned in the Book of Revelations may actually be Lilith. And you need to understand that the um, Book of Revelation is actually not about the end of the world. It is actually a Kabbalistic text. Um, there are so much um, symbolism in it that points to this. The seven churches apply to the seven separate of construction or the lower seven spheres of the tree of life or the seven lower spheres of the tree of shadows. These are also our chakras, the energy centers within us. Um, it talks about seven seals, seven trumpets, uh, seven bowls. These are all whole sets of the tree in the, the separate of construction going from one universe to the next. And revelation is also the word apocalypse. And this is all about spiritual revelation. So the whore of Babylon is described in Revelation 17, three through five. So he carried me away in the spirit into a wilderness. And I saw a woman sitting on a scarlet beast that was full of blasphemous names, and it had seven heads and ten horns. The woman was clothed in purple and scarlet, and adorned with gold and jewels and pearls, holding in her hand a golden cup full of abominations and the impurities of her fornication. And on her forehead was written a name, a mystery, Babylon the Great, mother of whores and of earth's abominations. The Beast. To understand the imagery presented, we must look at the Kabbalistic associations. The beast is scarlet, the color of passion, and often associated with the sphere Gavora, which means restriction. The beast also has seven heads and ten horns, seven being the number of spheres on the tree of life that are in creation, and ten being the total number of spheres on the tree. The key to this imagery is that the beast is said to be full of blasphemous names, indicating that instead of the tree of life, the beast is actually the spirit of the tree of shadows, and seven heads are actually the cliff off, the husks of darkness. The woman depicted is controlling the spirit of the tree of shadows by riding it into battle. Babylon the Great. The woman is described as clothed in purple, symbolizing royalty, and scarlet, symbolizing passion, indicating that she is queen within Gavora's severity. She wears gold, jewels, and pearls while holding a gold cup that is full of abominations and impurity. She is a wealthy queen who has a grail of her own, much like the Holy Grail, but instead an infernal grail. With her title being Babylon the Great, Mother of Whores and Abominations, this figure can be no other than Lilith. She is Clifoth, queen of restriction, and of queen of things, all things that don't belong. Her purpose. Most see the Whore of Babylon as an evil character who is working for the dark side to destroy humanity. However, when you understand Lilith and her purpose, you see she exists to push us toward our unity with our true self. She is the impulse to hate our separation from conscious unity and drive us to our enlightenment. She brings the Tree of Shadows to us. We can choose to find the Tree of Life. Later in, Le in Revelation verses 17, 15 through 16, it shows her purpose. And he said to me, the waters that you saw where the whore is seated are pe all pe peoples and multitudes and nations and languages. And the ten horns that you saw, they are the beast. They and the beast will hate the whore. They will make her desolate and naked. They will devour her flesh and burn her up with fire. The outcome. Humanity is forced to deal with their darkness and will hate the queen who shows them their unlightened condition. Man's ego is so strong that it will kick and scream to fight for control, battling the one who shows him his darkness, taking away her wealth and power until there is nothing left. Eventually in desolation, man finds his true self and eats of the tree of life, fulfilling Lilith's purpose. In this movement, the demonic side of Lilith finds her enlightenment and is liberated as well. And so the people who worship her as this whore hate her because she eventually causes change and that scares them. But when they finally do embrace it, they find their enlightenment, and so does her demonic self. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and gave you some insight. If you like it, please subscribe and click a like, and I'll be back with more content.